knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice so please practice python programming our youtube series on python practice will help you today we'll write a program to calculate gcd greatest common divisor so precisely what is greatest common divisor if you are good at mathematics it's a cake walk if not we will help you a bit in mathematics gcd of two number is a non zero largest positive number that divides each of the integers so gcd of 12 and 8 is 4 because gcd is the largest number that divides both 8 and 12 to get the gcd number we will use a method called as division method suppose we have two numbers a and b with values 12 and 8 so first we will divide a by b well the remainder will be 4 then we will assign the value of b to a and the value of r to b these are updated values of a and b when we repeat this operation and divide a by b we will get the remainder 0 and the value of a will become 4 and r become 0 so the b becomes 0 now we will stop the operation you see the value of a becomes 4 and b becomes 0 but 4 is nothing but our gcd so we need to write a loop which will continue till b is greater than 0 as soon as b reaches 0 a is our gcd if you are confused don't worry all the confusion will clear out after writing our program let's start writing our program for this accept two numbers a and b with input function and convert them into an integer with int function then write the while loop with condition b greater than 0 like this inside the while loop write r equal to a percent b where r is a remainder we get after dividing a by b now we will assign the value of b to a like this and then the value of remainder to variable b like this after the while loop is complete assign the value of a to gcd variable and print the same let's run the program enter the input as 12 and 8 well we got the correct output listen while writing any program or developing any logic these iterations are very very important this iteration help us to figure out the exact conditions and build our logic please take different numbers and perform the iteration and check whether the program is working as expected or not if you have any query please visit newtom.com or put a comment and we'll be happy to help you thanks for watching and please please keep practicing